Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are looking at another product. Uh, we've done the, in the past, we've done the CSA and the CSN. This is the newer CS8, uh, eight drivers for each side. We'll get into that with the specs. Uh, here is the IM. You get these uh, tips in different sizes. Kind of a TRN style tip. It's a nice tip uh, as stock ones go. It's got a nice firm tube in the center and the outside is soft silicone. Decent enough. Uh, inside the nice particle wood box, which you get with every uh, CVJ, you get the Velcro cord organizer cable organizer and this pouch here which is like a kind of a felt feeling kind of pouch uh, manual and your warranty information are in there as well on the top of the package when you open it up you get your um, different size tips so you get three different size tips this decent uh, you know, very decently braided, nice stock cable. Reminds me of TRN so much. It's got a little aluminum splitter here. It also terminates into an aluminum piece right there, 3.5 millimeter gold plated. It is a preformed hook and they kind of have like a little curve to them. So that's overall decent. The cable is decent enough for stock cables, much better than some other stock cables that I've seen. Your accessories are decent. You actually get a pouch with it, which is more than a lot of other companies, even more money than this actually give you. Um, looking at the IM itself, it seems nice. It's, it's south of medium, so it's a little smaller. I wouldn't call it small, but it is smaller than the average medium. It has a nice ergonomic shape to it. There's a metal nozzle. There's a showerhead style filter at the end. There's a nice brushed metal back plate on it. And it's all resin. And it comes in different colors, this one being the black color, which is kind of like a dark smoke. I'm sure if you shine a light, you can see through that. But it's a nice color overall. Um, so... Comfort-wise, decent. Accessories, the typical CVJ accessories, which are decent. Uh, build quality, also decent, considering this is a budget. Uh, it's actually better than what I would have expected for this price range. Spec-wise, um, three balanced armatures, one 10 millimeter dynamic driver. Your frequency response is going to be 7 to 40 kilohertz. It's an impedance of 22 ohms, a sensitivity of 105 decibels. Uh, so it, it's going to be relatively easy to drive, but you're always going to want a DAC amp or a DAP uh, just to get the most out of your headphones or IMs. Um, I could recommend this for sleeping because it is very comfortable definitely it's a solid build so even though it's a very lightweight it would be great for the ears for stuff like that getting into the sound um, sound wise uh, we'll start with the isolation that isolation was pretty good it was actually decent for something of this price range the tips probably help with that being that solid tube there good as long as you have the right fit uh, isolation should be very good uh, drivability should be quite easily driven, even by a phone. Uh, looking at the base, we'll start with the lower end, as we usually do. The base is more subdued. Uh, it's a little light on the base, and that may be a con for other people, but this is a bright, kind of a bright, neutral. Um, the sub-base is more on the flat side. Uh, the mid bass does have a nice rapid punch to it. Uh, there definitely is a good quantity of that, but bass overall is more uh, technical than uh, you know have a, a giant punch to it. Um, 
still you can uh, change the tips, change the cable out, uh, EQ it, and the sub bass will respond uh, rapidly as well as the mid bass. So bass is decent. Uh, there's more mid bass than there is sub bass with this. The sub bass being very rapid uh, decay. Uh, but definitely uh, some songs that take advantage of that and some songs that are bass boosted uh, would you can definitely hear you know a little bit of a rumble to that but overall this is definitely not for the bass head um, even though it does have a dynamic driver in it now the mids have excellent detail to them there's very good detail to the mids uh, they seem very transparent. Uh, they seem to be a little bit pushed forward and uh, more, this is more of a mid-centric kind of uh, IM. So the mids are very, very good. Um, yeah, I, I very, uh, I like the mids on this and that would be the selling point of this for people who like the bright things. Uh, the mids are very, very good on this. Uh, so much good things. Vocals themselves are excellent. Forward. Uh, they seem to have some very good emotion to them. And trying to get that to stay in focus. Uh, yeah, looking at my notes, the mids were very, very good. Uh, females seemed a little bit more forward. I didn't find them shouty, but I can see the potential for them to be shouty depending on what you're listening to and what you're listening to on and your own hearing, of course, because that's always the three factors is your sound chain, your device, your recording, and your ears themselves affect the sound greatly. Um, everything else, like tip rolling and stuff like that, that's just frosting on the cake. Um, treble. Treble. Uh, the treble was boosted. Uh, particularly, I would say, I'd say they both the lower and the upper treble were kind of boosted. And on most of the tracks, there was some nice sparkle there, and it was fine. I did get a little bit of, like, harshness with some, some tracks, and there's definitely the potential to be harsh there. Uh, overall, a lot of people that like bright signatures know what to expect. Uh, some foam tips would probably take care of some of that harshness uh, from the balanced armatures. Uh, you know, uh, things like cymbals and uh, hi-hats and, you know, other instruments. They just, I don't know. I don't like to use other people's words, so I'm not going to say, you know, that. But they could be, tend to be a little bit harsh. Um, overall, it wasn't bad. It had some decent sparkle to the highs. Uh, soundstage was good it was actually better than normal so the soundstage had some very nice depth and uh, some height to it uh, it was wider than average um, not so much equal in proportion but overall I found that that was actually enjoyable about this um, I would say this is a fun treble head Type I am, uh, you know, the fun signature not being like a very heavy bass, but fun in the opposite direction. Fun where the treble is, you know, slightly on the hot side, and people that like and enjoy treble and vocals, I can definitely see them enjoying this. Um, that said, any bass heads would probably immediately want to return this. They won't like it. Uh, people that enjoy a neutralist signature may actually enjoy this too. Um, so for that fact, I can recommend it. Um, my personal tastes, I, I can see me using this for vocals, definitely. I've, I personally, and my personal taste has always been, um, more on the warm side. I like the V-shapes, preferably the mature V-shape. Uh, I like a decent amount of sub-bass, but I don't like it to mess up the vocals and the mids. Uh, I do like a balanced signature where I can just listen to it for the whole day. And sometimes I like something for critical listening. And this can be used for critical listening to certain points because it does have a lot of good details there. Uh, there's some excellent um, tonality to this and some good technicalities that this can actually produce. 
uh, for the $30 that it costs. I can't find fault with it for that. It is a bright tuned IAM. And with a lot of bright tuned IAMs, like the HANA and the Heart Mirror and that, you have the potential to go over into the harsh realm. And some people, you know, don't find it that harsh. Your hearing's going to be different than mine. To me, slightly uh, can can be harsh at times. Nothing that would make me want to put it down. But overall, I can definitely say that this is a bright I am. This is a vocal-centered uh, treble I am. And not for the bass wanton out there. That said, you can EQ it, and your dynamic driver will respond in kind. Uh, overall, making this decent. Um, I try not to EQ. I do the tip rolling. I do cable changing. Um, I would suggest a copper cable with this if you're going to upgrade. Definitely. Don't go to silver or silver plated. Go to copper or gold if you can find it. Um, yeah, overall, I like this. Definitely. Um, I think that you would enjoy this if you like a bright signature. It's very comfortable. It's 30 bucks. It's a good, bright IAM uh, for what it is. I can definitely recommend it. Uh, I think if this was more money, I probably wouldn't. But for $30 for a bright IAM, I can definitely see this being up there with the likes of like the HANA and the Heart Mirror. Uh, definitely. Uh, it's it's got it's good points to it and if it didn't have its good points to it it wouldn't be here in review it would be off to the side with the dozens of other things that are never going to be reviewed that came in and i tested and wasted my time um overall i hope this review was uh enjoyable and i'll see you again we got a bunch more things coming our way thank you so much please be safe all